Hey, Chef Anthony here from Dawn's Appliances. Today I'm going to go over your Thermador Sapphire dishwasher. Great step up in the model. So let's open this guy up. So uh, we don't have it on, but you know we'll have that brilliant blue lighting in here as well. So let's talk about the top. We're going to get those, um, you know, great my way rack. And the cool part about this is these racks, you know, if we hit this button, they're going to jump down. We can hold bigger ladles, slotted spoons, you know, things like that up here in a designated area we want to line our china up you know all our forks and knives through these tines because there's a direct sprayer on the top that really works well to kind of get this nice and clean this is a great convenient feature once you get in the habit of lining them all up you'll see how much more you can actually hold but if you're like me i have this at home and i just put them in i just drop them in they still get clean don't worry okay so open this guy up the next one we really want to look at these right here this these actually uh, convert up or down depending on what we're doing but i like to keep them up this is going to hold all of our stemware so champagne glasses red wine glasses white wine glasses they're all going to hold in these little compartments they're going to hold on the right angle at a 45 so the water can run off and really keeps them like in place because you know i know if i put them in the bottom sometimes they're going to shift around with water and you know have a tendency to break so this is nice and safe for that these tines are adjustable too so see how i have these down already this is for like a bigger pot or a bigger bowl depending on you know what your dishes and pots and pans look like that really gives you these converted racks that kind of help you out this really helps in longevity of the product because you know sometimes if we just keep throwing stuff down you know we might chip these tines or they might rust eventually if we're real hard on them so the adjustable adjustability really works out well if you see this in a Bosch dishwasher or a Thermador dishwasher this is a direct sprayer so there's three holes in the very back of this unit and uh, you could put that direct sprayer right on the unit and remove the these racks if you had a huge pot or something like that it really goes in there so let's talk about the sides right here see this those are tabs so if we hold these tabs down like this the rack adjusts down okay so we can go lower now and put taller plates on the top so if we had lower items on the top simply easily just a rack it up like that and that's how we adjust this middle rack great feature you know and kind of depending on you know what your china is and what you're doing that day you know you have the great options i always tell customers right here is the center this isn't a special tray to hold your little knickknacks this is right where the soap is going to dispense into so keep this free, uh, free and clear throughout the process while we talk about soap here is where our soap goes so if we open this up our pod goes in here we like to recommend using rinse aid and a finished tab. So the rinse aid will go right here. And I tell customers, if you're seeing a little bit of water in here at the end of the cycle, if you're seeing a little bit of extra moisture on your, on your items, make sure you're using the right rinse aid because it really does make a difference in these high temp units. Okay, so we'll clear that up, close that up. Let's talk about the bottom rack here. Okay, so we have more cutlery here as well, but this can be removed. And I always tell customers, this is a great spot to hold a bigger pan, a uh, brownie pan, a baking dish, anything like that can lay on this side. Once again, we have adjustable tines right here that help out really well. These are on very nice heavy rollers. This is a solid rack. Let me remove this rack for you. And I wanna talk about the inside here. So here's our triple filtration. You've seen this before. This is something that's really, maybe once a month, kind of get, uh, just some warm water on, no soap, no detergent. This is gonna get all the finer particles in your dish. Everything that rinses off your uh, cups, your plates, uh, you know, and your silverware kind of goes all and collects in here. And if you ever break any glass or there's any food particles, it'll all lay here. So if you have some funny odors, check this and make sure this is clean first and foremost. To put it back in, it just slides right in and we line up the arrows, okay? So let me just rotate it back around, line up the arrows. That means it's locked. So there's two other features in this step-up model. So if we open this one up right here, this is for uh, your, your salt. So you're gonna put a box of salt in there and a cup of water. If this helps if you have hard water in your area. So you have hard water, you'd see etching on your glasses, like a little cloudy white film, things like that. And you know, some maybe like a little bit of a slimy feeling. So if you know your area has hard water, this will treat it. So we'll put a uh, box of soap in there, a cup of water, and it should last around six months. It'll deplete out and really even out the pH levels in your water to make it nice and smooth. So 
put the cap back on there. The other thing in the corner, so let's talk about that. That is your crystal drying. So those are little, uh, we call them moon rocks here in the showroom, but they're fun. So in the drying cycle, that opens up, it actually heats and really retains 20% of the moisture. So you get like 20% more moisture out of your stuff by using that setting. So that's not a maintenance piece. You never have to worry about that. It's just in the back, helping you dry some more Tupperware and dishes and things, okay? so. Talk about the top here. So pots and pans can be for our heaviest settings, okay? Auto is kind of be every day. So what happens in auto is runs an auto uh, cycle. The tub will fill up, run a once over, turbidity sensor in the back, a light detector really kind of goes through and says, hey, these dishes are dirty or these dishes are clean, picks the right setting for you. 99% of the time we're gonna use auto, okay? If we don't have another designated setting. Normal's next to that. Normal's kind of the same thing. I don't really use normal that much. I really touch on the hand wash setting because this lowers the temperature in the internal of the dishwasher. This is better for you know your older china to make sure it doesn't etch or patina or really rust. So if you have that good china and you're really scared of using it, hand wash is kind of the best setting for all that. Next, one hour wash and a quick wash. I'm gonna talk about these together. So the one hour setting is really just gonna run high and hot, take one hour. This is great for glasses. This is great for, you know, stuff that's already clean, whether you're bringing out holiday plates or, you know, you did a big renovation, a big move, stuff's been in boxes for about six or eight months. You could run a one hour setting or a quick wash setting. Really, it's almost the same in my book. Do a rinse only. So this is great if you just want to rinse this uh, unit, whether you have plates in there and you're kind of waiting for the rest of dinner to clear out and you just want to run a 15 minute rinse cycle, kind of hold it for the next day too without making it get funky or etch it, almost like a pre-treat. So you can use that rinse setting as well. Info setting, you can really hold this down and kind of give you a background of what's happening in each setting. So if you need a little background on that, info helps. You could do the delayed start too, but this is a super quiet unit, so we really don't use delayed start that much. Wi-Fi enabled products so we can use the remote start too. We can download Home Connect from our app and really kind of monitor the process and make sure our dishes are done correctly. Power boost at any time. We're gonna do this on any setting. This will be full power. So this really kick off, kick off that eco mode. So you hit the save time button to really cut it by 15 minutes. So it's really not saving you a whole lot of time, but it's very nice looking button, okay? <laughs> half load will do a mixed load or a half load. So if you have the stuff on the top and you just wanna run it, it'll use probably 25 to 30% less water and really good. Sanitized setting is just going to be for sanitizing your cookware you know if you really want to make sure we're germ free and kind of it's really great for utensils kind of like serving utensils and you know just to do our knives in a sanitizer setting star dry this is the one we want to hit that's those moon rocks in the back if we're doing just an all tupperware thing we want to make sure that one's on and you know if you're seeing a lot of moisture in there we want to make sure this one's on pre-cycle to make sure it's nice and dry so hope this helped you determine you know kind of get you through with your thermal or great dishwasher and uh, keep your dishes and pots and pans clean.